Even though, by his own admission, a return to the Final Fantasy franchise is highly unlikely at the present time, that hasn't stopped the father of the franchise being rather coy about the prospect of such a thing happening. Sakaguchi was attending Anime Expo 2017 in Los Angeles, where amongst other things, such as having a brief segment in the fan panel to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Final Fantasy, he also took part in a press panel before the show opened to the public. For anyone who's interested, I've included a link to the fan panel below. His appearance only lasted a few minutes and was uploaded by The Last Bosses. He compared developing video games to the pain of childbirth and then ranked them by pain, with the original Final Fantasy taking the top spot ahead of Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VII. He jested that the more painful the development, the better the game. Anyway, getting back to the pre-show press panel I mentioned. It was during this panel that a journalist asked Sakaguchi whether he would consider returning to work on the Final Fantasy franchise. And as reported by DualShockers, at first he jokingly mentioned that the reporter should ask Yosuke Matsuda, Square Enix's president, but he did then answer in a more serious manner. He said, I want to keep on doing new things, so the chances are highly unlikely. But you know, they say never say never, right? So I'll just leave it at that. According to DualShockers, he then mentioned that he is now on very friendly terms with Square Enix. Now before I say anything else, you could argue that he is already working on the Final Fantasy franchise again, just not in a very direct way. For starters, he decided to come out of the wilderness to take part in uncovered Final Fantasy XV at the request of Hajime Tabata, and also he did some promotional material alongside his appearance such as this interview with Famitsu where he mused about the game and the event with Tabata, and even apologized for previously mocking Final Fantasy XV's elongated development time. In more recent times, he has also collaborated with Final Fantasy XV. The April patch for the game saw new content added to promote Sakaguchi's terror battle. There was also some music added to the car radio and new decals for the regalia. To return the favor, new content was also added to terror battle. Three new quests called Gladiolus, Ignis, and Prompto were created, and they featured classic Final Fantasy enemies such as the Behemoth. Nabu Imatsu also composed a special piece of music for these quests called Bond. As a side note, during Anime Expo, Sakaguchi also reiterated once again, in a little skit with YouTuber ProZD, that Final Fantasy IX is his favorite game in the franchise. Sakaguchi himself is unlikely to commit to anything larger than this type of activity for quite some time. After all, he's just announced two new games, Terror Battle 2 and Terror Wars. He's also working on the console version of Terror Battle, which is progressing at a decent pace as the story and pre-production are almost complete. Would you be keen for Sakaguchi to come back to work on another Final Fantasy game? Or do you think he should continue his work on his own projects? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And if you'd like to support our channel further, please be sure to head on over to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash ffunion. These awesome folks have already done so, so why not join them? Thanks for watching guys, this is Lauren signing out, see you next time.